Hello guys, welcome back to the debug arena. In today's video, I am going to apply search functionality in our React Native application. So here you can see, this is my user screen where currently I have listed all the registered users in my React Native application. So if you also want to learn this, then you can go and check out my previous video. In that, I have shown how we can fetch all the data from MongoDB and Node.js and how to show that in your React Native application. And here at the top, you can see I am having this search bar. Here I am having search icon, here I can search for name or email and here I am getting all the records. So currently it is 15. Now if I come here and write A, so now my list will show only the records which are having A and here I am getting number of records which satisfy this condition. If I write here ADAR, so there are only two records which satisfy this string like either the name or email consists of this string. Here you can see I am getting two records found. In the same way I can also search for email, so if I write here AD2. I will get only one record and if I press backspace then also this validation will happen. So this is the search functionality which we are going to apply in today's video. So you know there are two ways in which we can apply the search filter and the first one is that we fetch all the details from MongoDB, show it in our React Native application and then we will apply search filter in the React Native that is in our front end. This way is effective for small scale project or you can say college project. But suppose if you have a large number of data like 10,000, 20,000, in that case you will fetch data in a set like 10, 20, 50 or more. In that case it is better to apply the search functionality in the backend only. So in that what will happen if we write any string here, it will call an API call. In the API we will accept that string and then we will filter the data on the backend only. And in response we will get the filtered data. So if you want to learn that way also then please let me know in comment. I will make video on that also. So now without any more discussion, let's get started. Okay, you can see here, this is my user screen and here I'm getting list of all the data. So in the code, what I have done, I have created this state which will contain all my user's data and this is the API which is getting all the user's data and here I'm setting the data into the API and in use effect, I have called that function. This is my user card, that is the UI of user card and this user card, I have called it in the flat list so that I'm getting this response. So now the first thing is I will create the search bar here. For that I will come here. I'm not going to focus on UI that much. So let me quickly create the search bar. Okay, you can see here. This is the code for my search bar and it is totally looking good. And here what I have done. I have implemented the icon. This is my text input and this is where I'm showing the total record. You can get the code from my GitHub. The link will be in description. And this total record I'm getting from all user data which is the state which is containing all my user data dot length. Okay. So now what I will do, I will go up and let's create two state. One state will be the filtered user which will consist of all the filtered user and the other state will be the search query like whatever we will write here, it will be stored inside that state. So let me just create that. Okay, it is done. So this is filtered user and this is search query. Now I will go to my text input and here I will write value and what will be the value of the search input? Yes, correct. It will be search query. Okay, now here I will come and I will write here on change text so that whatever user will write, we will get that. For this, I will create one function. So I will go up and here I will create one function name as handle change. Okay, in this function, I will accept query from there on change text. Then what I will do, I will just set this query inside this search query. Okay, so I think this is done. Now I will create a variable here name as filtered. And in this to which variable we have to filter, we have to filter over this state, which is all user data, which is containing all my user data. And we can filter by using a method provided by JavaScript, which is filter. So what filter will do, it will iterate over our array and it will return us all the data one by one inside this variable user. After returning the variable, whatever condition we will write here and the data which will satisfy the filter will return us that. Okay. So now let's write the condition here and the condition will be user. We have to filter what we have to filter name. So I will write a name. The first thing is we will convert that to lowercase. Okay. Once my name is converted to lowercase. Now I have to search whether that name will consist the any of the letter which we are writing here. For that I will use includes here in include what I will pass. I will pass my query dot. I will also convert this to lowercase. Okay. This is done. Now I will save this. So inside this variable filtered, I will get the filtered data that is the user whose name will contain this query. Okay. Now I will store this filtered variable inside my state, which is set filter user. Okay. And inside this, I will write filtered. Okay. I think it is done. Now I will save this. Then I will go to on change text here. I will call that function, which is handle change. Okay. This is also done. Now the next thing is 
if I write anything here, you can see nothing is happening because we haven't set the data here. To set the data, I will come here at the flat list and here I will write one condition, which will be if my search query dot length is greater than zero, that is I have entered something here, then I will pass here filtered users. Okay. Otherwise, I will pass here all user data. So if there is nothing here, this data will be shown. If there is something here, this data will be shown. I will just save this. Then I will come here and now I will write here ADA and you can see we are getting only two records. So it is totally working fine. Now the only thing remaining is that we have to update this 15. Also we have to search for email. Like if I write here AD2, I am not getting any records. So for that I will come here and I will write here or and I will copy this condition, paste it here and instead of name I will pass here email. So that our filter will work on email also. I will save this and you can see if I write here AD2. I'm getting these details. If I write here admin, you can see I'm getting all the admins. Okay. Now I will come here and here I am updating this total records. So instead of this, I will write a condition here, which will be if my search query dot length is greater than zero, then I will show this, which is filtered user dot length record found. Otherwise I will show total record found like this. So here I am showing all user data dot length. You can see here, let me just minimize this total records all user data dot length. Now I will save this. I will open my application. I will remove all of these things. So here I am getting total record 15. If I write here admin, you can see I have got four record. If I write here ad at the rate g dot co, I am getting only one record. So this is how you can apply search functionality in your react native application from front end. If you want to learn how we can do this through back end, then please let me know in comments. Also let me know whether this is working for your project or not. If not, then please let me know in comment. I will try to help you. Thank you for watching the video.